I want to share an experience with you guys. It's really powerful and really informative and clearly my soul was asking this question and then I have been feeling it sort of percolating around in different pockets of spiritual communities and I hear it every now and again from folks that watch my show Charmed Life. People ask because I do share about my personal experience growing up that I came from a very dark energy. The, the, the energy of my family was dark. It was abusive. There was a lot of abuse and alcoholism, physical abuse. And then the second sort of iteration of the family that I became a part of was abusive in a whole different way. And it was very challenging. And so people ask, why do so many people who are light workers or you know, healers or spiritual seekers, why do they tend to have this kind of dark, abusive family history? Well, what I want to share with you is some deep clarity about it that came through during a session that I had of quantum healing hypnosis technique, QHHT. This is the Dolores Cannon technique for hypnosis and regressing into either past, parallel, or future lives into another life that would inform you about how to upgrade and, you know, become more you in this particular life. Now, it's not just about that, pardon me, um, fix my microphone, and it's not just about reviewing a life, you do just go, we, we did a life between life portion of this hypnosis session, and then just questioning of the subconscious mind, aka the intuitive mind. And see, part of the reason that I actually wanted to do this was because, like, if you know Dolores Cannon and her work, I mean, who doesn't want to do it? But also because I actually do study and practice hypnosis. Not only that, I would say that pretty much everyone else here does as well. If you meditate, then you practice hypnosis. That's what meditation is. But I, in particular, practice it in my teaching and when I'm helping people to develop their intuitive abilities or develop their connection to the uh, flow of artistic, of the artistic font, I would say, the fountain of artists of creativity. Because that connection is about the connection to the subconscious mind or the intuitive mind and um, putting, a, putting aside the conscious mind. I've talked about it before, basically, the subconscious mind is the creator aspect, act, let me say that again. <laughs> the subconscious mind is the creator aspect of you, the creator, small c, energy, and the conscious mind is the created aspect of you. It is the mind that has, that has been, um, has, that the subconscious mind has impressed out the conscious mind. Does that make a little sense? And so when we get into and we operate from the aspect of you, which is the intuitive mind or the creator with a small c, mind, that's the magic. That's where we are. That's what we do when we read and we heal and when we are teaching from an inspired place or creating art. It's all the same jam. And so in a QHHT session, you go deep into a trance to put away that conscious mind so that you can really get into the subconscious mind because all of your answers are there. Everything you need is there because it is the connection to the universal mind, the infinite intelligence. So in my QHHT session, what came through as it concerns light workers and spiritual seekers, people who are way showers and incarnating into dark family energy dark bloodlines, you would even say, whether your specific family had that energy. Like you, you may have your immediate family, your parents really sort of did their best and you can see that and nobody laid a hand on you and or anything like that. And it doesn't even have to do all only with physical abuse because the mental and emotional and abandonment and enmeshment, there's all kinds of ways that trauma can show itself. But maybe your, maybe your parents really did a really good job, especially as compared to their predecessors. So maybe your mother or father or your, your, you know, your family comes from a history of abuse and then your actual immediate family, thank God, was able to really break a lot of that patterning. You see, it's still carried through in the energy of the family, in the bloodline, in the energy line. And so... Apparently, I had a question about this. I didn't even prepare the question and bring it into the session, but it came up anyway, the information about this. And this was the information that I received. 
or that actually came out of me <laughs> from that space. The reason that particularly ones, uh, people of my age or somewhere in this age range, and basically who are adults now, many of us came into these really dark family energies is because for a few reasons. So one reason is there weren't a lot of other choices. <laughs> there just weren't a lot of people who were either like say star seeds or light workers themselves or even if they were earth seeds or folks who you know were not necessarily from other star systems or just coming from a more evolved soul kind of level but were really oriented to just the vibration here they weren't awakened so you see when we use the term like when we talk about being an evolved soul or an old soul coming into this experience or being a star seed, so someone who has spent a lot of time on other stars and hasn't been, has been, you know, not incarnating here either as much or recently or just has a, a longer soul history or an older soul history. It isn't that you come down here and you're immediately a crowned prince and you're better than everyone. Not at all. You still go through the veil of amnesia even if you remember a lot of it or you kind of come with this activation of you know with fewer filters from the the abilities that we have and the knowing that we have and the connection that we have even so you go through the veil of amnesia you commit to this experience and you still can get completely lost so everyone in order to connect into their higher path has to awaken everyone goes into sleep when they come into this experience and so Folks that are, say, more of the earth seas are just naturally more uh, less akin to what we experience as light workers. They can awaken and they do awaken. And then we're all doing the work together. So no one is better or worse than anybody in their nature. And the nurture is, is everything. It's about awakening. And so the folks that in the pre-birth plan who are, who are the ones who come with a more evolved soul or let's say something like a star seed or something. The at the time that the people who are adults now, there weren't a lot the planet's vibration was such that there weren't that many families that were awakened to that degree. You guys probably understand, know and have heard this and feel that the vibration of the planet has raised and is rising even more. So that is something that is actually measurable with the Sh as the Schumann resonance. So the vibration of the planet is raising, and then as it raises, then it exponentially raises more. It, it's an exponential path now. And that has been happening in our lifetime, and certainly we had the 2012 gate and all portal or whatever, all of the things that are happening, and it's time is speeding up, right? Is, aren't things speeding up? So when, when the adults now came into this planet, there weren't a lot of choices. And then you basically think of it being what I characterize it. I think I, yeah, I think I even said this in the session it came through. If you have a filthy house that needs a whole thing needs to be cleaned, you start with the stinkinest mess first. So before you sweep up the dust off the floor, you take out the rotting pile of trash, right? That's the first thing you do. And then you go to the next thing, you go to the next thing. So if you look at, if we're looking out in this pre-birth experience and we see this landscape of a planet and a, a culture and a collective consciousness where the vibration is so much lower, we go, okay, well, let's take out the stinking trash first. And so those of us who are adults are what are called basically scouts. We came ahead. You know, we have new children right now. If you guys are parents now who are adults who have children and your children are like, wow, I don't even know what's going on with them. They're, they're, they're just so advanced spiritually. Well, you, you were a scout for them. And even they who are coming in right now are scouting for the generations behind them. And yes, of course, the indigo children were sort of the first wave that we see as scouts. And those, those people started, the indigo started to incarnate probably as far back as the 50s. And they came into a very dark climate and a lot of them didn't kind of make it. Um, some of them didn't because it was just too hard. And so that's what Dolores actually talks about that, the three waves of volunteers. And by the way, I haven't even read, I've only read one of her books and it's uh, Jesus and the Essenes that she's not talking about the three waves of volunteers in that. It's the convoluted universe series where she talks about that. But I've heard her talk and I hear other people talking about what Dolores' um, teaching is about. 
So we have these waves of volunteers, and she's talking about it as the three waves. They're often characterized as the indigos, then the crystals, and then the rainbows. And so actually, personally, if you guys are interested, not that it matters, but I am actually a crystal child or adult. I'm a crystal person. But the time that I was born, which was like um, 97, no, I'm kidding. It was <laughs> 74. In 74, that was actually way before the big bulk of dispensation of crystal children were coming in. It was still sort of in the, the big wave of the indigos, or as big as it was. The crest probably wasn't quite as, it's hard to tell because the vibration again was so low. So I was sort of an early, I was a scout for, for the crystal wave or that second wave and so on and so forth. And those are just words that we use, it doesn't matter, but I do orient to the definition or the kind of set that we recognize for that kind of um, soul. And so everyone who's an adult now still is a scout for these waves that are coming through. So that's the first reason why we incarnated into dark family lines is because we needed to clean up the stinkiness mess first and there wasn't really much that was clean anyway. The second reason is because we, it gave us credibility to be able to go through that, to be able to go through that experience and now be here awakened from it. Now we can reach out and understand and show people the literal pathway. So I'm one here who says, hey, I went through abuse, all, all shades, all kinds of shades of abuse. And I've been through, you know, a family with alcohol abuse and all kinds of stuff. And, you know, I know how to make it from there. And doesn't that make you feel better if someone is showing you down the path? I've been down the path and I can help you. So it gives us credibility. It gives us depth of understanding of how to do it. Now, it isn't necessary for you to go through something horrible in, in order to be able to empathize and help others. But such as the population and the collective consciousness is, it actually did help us. It lent us. It gave us the, the strength to and the, and the knowledge of it to be able to help there's something that gave us credibility. And sorry, as I pause, because um, there was a bit that came through. <coughs> and I'm just waiting for it to come back. Archangel Shamuel, will you show that to me? It allows it, it allows us to have the strength. And then, huh, it's, it's not coming back yet. So give me just one sec. I want to just reset. gave us the credibility what else did it do well it gave us the anchor into it and it um oh gosh well i guess it'll come back in a second it always does so the stinkiness mess with the dirty house it gave us the credibility and it also helped us to wake up there it is it helped us to wake up you see with the darkness that we were in and the light that we naturally intended from the soul to bring through, that contrast was so much that it helped us to awaken. You see, it would have been easy if we were in an easier climate, given the landscape and the context, if we, it would have been easier to get lost in the hypnosis of the matrix, of the lower 3D matrix. If you come into a, a family where things aren't that hard, and you're, you're, you know what I mean? It's not, not as perfect, but it's not that hard and everything's kind of working. Then you're like, yeah, there's, this life is great. 3D is cool. Why do I need to bother? You see, with the depth of that darkness, it caused us to wake up. And it helped us to shift out of it. It gave us a reason to reach really hard and sort of to hit a, a, a spiritual rock bottom. Because there wasn't, that we weren't being fed. So this is another reason why. And so those are the three reasons why we did it, that the, the house was too messy and we wanted to go ahead and start to clean up that, the stinkiness part of the mess as it was, the house being the planet. And then it gave us credibility and strength and gave us a lot of knowledge. And then it also forced us to wake up because of the contrast of the intention from the soul level and the context of the darkness that we were in. And now, this is the other cool part. This is the good news. Now that we're here, and we're awake and we're working on our stuff and we're releasing it and we're finding forgiveness every single day. That path is a spiral. So yes, I have forgiven my abusers. I say abusers now because I don't like to label them as such because I want to be in forgiveness for them, but I will find some other layer at some time and that's beautiful, that's, that's wonderful. So 
what is what the, the next piece of information that came through in my QHHT session is that yes, we have the new children and they are coming in in big waves. And so the children that are being that have been born now, so to to you guys who are parents, they came in into a context that was much lighter, much more awakened. You're not perfect, that's fine, but you did better than your parents, right? I know I'm speaking to some of you. Some of you aren't even parents, but you know what I mean like I'm, I'm not a parent either yet and so you did better so uh, the good news about that is because sometimes we think well wait if someone comes into a situation that is light does that mean that there's no way they're going to be a light worker it's not true there is the added benefit that we experienced of the darkness being in contrast to the lightness of our soul intention and that contrast woke us up the, that's because of the the vibration of the planets a different context now so here's the thing the children that are coming in now and they're incarnating into awakened families, starseed families, how much more work will they be able to get done? I didn't awaken metaphysically until I was 40 because it took me that long to just be able to clean up my inner, my inner space in order to be able to release that stuff and to feel and see clearly. So how much more work can you get done if you're as you guys are sharing in the group all the time about I'm encouraging my kid to meditate I'm encouraging their spiritual gifts and insight and all that's beautiful oh my gosh how beautiful you guys didn't have that growing up right you who are doing that with your children how amazing is that so you'll get they're able to get more work done and they even the children that are here now are still scouts because then the next wave of children are going to be in, born into families that are even more families that are even more awakened or sorry I don't mean it to sound like I shouldn't more ascended let's say that more attuned because again we're all raising our vibration together the planet is raising the vibration so it keeps raising and then it's, so it's like this wave of children that have already been born they're able to do a lot more work the next wave is still some of them are going to be born into dark bloodlines the same reason that we were and some are born into the light families and it's, it's all working in harm, harmony but then the very next wave after that so the children that are two waves away Oh girl, let me tell you, they're, they have so, like they're with the new children now, they're gonna be, that's gonna be their parents. They're gonna be, I don't know, they're gonna be bending spoons. <laughs> <laughs> all the time but that work this all came through in this meditation so the next three waves of volunteers were already had the three way the next three waves wow it's gonna be powerful and if you put that on a map that's in our lifetime and pretty much all of us that's in our lifetime knock wood but wow isn't that amazing so if you're a parent or a, are planning to be a parent just know that you are doing such a great service and all of the work that you've done means something. It all means something. And you transmuted that energy. If you were born into a dark family line or you know, however your parents weren't perfect, that's fine. You were able to transmute that energy now that you have come through to the other side and you are awake from it and you are enlightened from it. Now you have taken that energy and you've cooperated with the universe and the beautiful, beautiful planet and you've transmuted that energy back into light. And so that's the good news. And that's the good message about the work that you've done. So keep it up. Thank you so much for doing the work.